morning everyone. So um, today I just wanted to do a little bit of a recap. Um, I wanted to just go over everything we've gone through um, and uh, and just sort of just recap everything really. Um, I would say I think I've probably pretty much covered all the major running injuries. Um, there's probably lots of little ones out there that are specific to you that I haven't covered on these vlogs. Um, but what the, the key that I want you to sort of take home from all this is try and take control of your body, okay? First of all, find the cause of your running injury, okay? Just recap, you know, have a think, right, crikey, I've done a lot more steps or I've not done as many steps. I've actually been sitting a lot more than usual and, and just have a think about what's changed um, and what might have precipitated the problem. And then you can start doing something about it. If you've been sitting too much, make a make a little pact with yourself to say, right, every sort of hour I'm going to get up and I'm going to walk around, I'm going to walk up and down the stairs and just vary what you're doing a little bit. Um, and I think then once you've found the cause, then you need to look at releasing it. So if you're if you find an area that's tight, so if you've been sitting all the time, then it's quite likely that your hip flexors are going to be tight. Um, you know, if you've been hunched over, you know, your pecs um, and everything in, in the front of the shoulders is going to be tight. So, you know, you can just go and just do a little bit of stretching in the corner of the wall uh, and just doing the, the opposite to what you're spending all day doing. So, um, you know, I think if you if you're uh, going through the stretching that I've given you, then I think you can find um, yourself the areas that are tight and I think if you do regular stretching at least once a week um, and then you'll know if things are normal or if things are tight and I think that's the other key thing is understanding your normal know what your body is you know should be like on a, a good day so that if you've got some niggles you, you know you've got to think oh everything's a bit tight today maybe I don't push myself as hard maybe I don't push myself as far um, maybe I have an easier day and just start to understand those signals a little bit. Uh, and then the, the third thing is we, you know, this is this is the key for you to do at home is the loading. I think I think the thing to understand is any injury that you have um, will need reloading. OK, um, if you've had an injury to an area, the muscles will all shut down. They will be weak. Um, if something's been torn, it's got to repair and you've got to start from low level. I've deliberately not given lots and lots of high level exercises um, because they're everywhere. What I actually want you to do is just remember the basics. So the basics and the fundamentals of, of how you run. You know, what are the basics of running? You've got to get your glutes working. You've got to have your thorax mobile. Um, you've got to get your hips forward. Um, you don't want your hips to be sat back. Um, you've got to be able to stand on one leg, you've got to be able to balance on one leg, you've got to be able to control one leg. So you could go back then to your glute bridge and think, well, can I do a glute bridge on one leg? Can I hold it in that position? Can I do it on my toes? You know, um, can I stand on one leg? Can I bend my knee? Can I control my lunge? Can I control my lunge with a rotation? Can I stand on one leg and rotate? You know, and, and all these things are the basic fundamental control patterns of running. And if you can't do those things when you're standing on one leg or when you're lying on the ground, it's very, very likely that you're not going to be able to do it when you're running. And if you do that lots and lots of times, straight away you can start thinking, oh, I might get a I might get a problem from that. So so really, from my point of view, take control of your injury, work out what's tight, work out what's weak. Um, even if you're not injured, go through some of the, the little programs that we've done and think, right, okay, my, my right leg's not very strong. I know that I can't stand on my right leg very well um, and I'm, I'm very poor at doing a, a one leg knee bend, um, sorry, a one leg calf raise with my knee bent on my right leg. So I'm now working on that. And, you know, so I've learned things about my body by going through the, all these exercises with you. So hopefully, you know, you've learned the same. So so really, that's what I want you to, to sort of think about, taking control of your body. Now, if you can't find an area that's tight, or if you don't know what stretches to do, or if you don't know how to reload it, you don't you can't find something that's weak, send me a message. Don't get frustrated. Um, I'm not going to have given you every single answer to every single injury by a long, long way here. These are just some ideas just to try and help you manage some of the more common problems by yourself. 
Um, I've been doing virtual calls, they've been working really well. Um, you know, the, the, I think the key is don't get frustrated. Um, I'm trying to learn to sew at the moment and oh my gosh, you know, I, I'm getting so frustrated with how to learn, a, you know, to use a sewing machine. So, you know, I know what it feels like. So don't, you know, it's you, you try a new skill and, you know, you, you'll, you know, you'll go through, you know, you'll search it, you'll Google it and you'll come up with all these different answers. Um, but if you want just to have a chat, um, it's absolutely fine. You know, we can we can go through some exercises specific for you. We can work out what's weak and what's tight and where it's coming from. I think sometimes the, you know, the hardest part is working out where it's coming from. So you look at all the areas around it, but don't forget to go higher. Um, so the back, the core, is the thorax tight? You know, what's your hip doing? Can you, you know, is that hip a bit tighter than the other side? You know, is your back a bit stiff? So don't forget to sort of move up the chain. You know, even if your foot's a bit stiff, it could be because it's working way, way harder because that caused the core and the glute isn't working well on that side. So so don't forget to look out the box, but, but feel free, message me. I'm not gonna do as many of these vlogs um, now just because I haven't got as many topics to talk about. I am going to still keep doing them. I'll probably do a couple of week. Um, I'll still do some stretching on a Sunday and we'll do some specific areas. But but give me some um, some ideas, some things that you want me to talk about. Um, you know, uh, anything, you know, sort of running injuries, you know, sort of, you know, bit of training, anything. Um, how to come back from an injury. Um, and I'm very, very happy just to sort of um, to, to do those. But I think I've covered most of the major running injuries, um, and um, unless we've got some requests. Um, so you won't see me quite as often now. I'm sure that'll be a relief to some of you. Um, but um, I'll still be coming back. And um, yeah, enjoy the training and uh, feel free to message me. Bye.